So there are a ton of weather apps out there, but how do you know which one to use? Well, usually it depends on what you need it for, right? Well, I'm gonna show you a pretty cool weather app to check out. I'm a weather geek myself, and I have been since I was a little kid. So I always love checking out the different weather apps that are on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now this app is called Nautical Eye and it is available on iOS and Android. Nautical Eye was basically developed to support outdoor activities, mainly for those on the water, hence the name Nautical Eye, right? It is also an app that anyone can use, even people like me, or people that just wanna see what the temperature is in the next few days, planning a vacation, things like that. The little Joe in me is very excited and ready to jump out. So let's go check out Nautical Eye. Let's open it up and see what this app's all about. All right, so here we are. I got the app open and it is over my current location. Now I have the pro version. There is a seven day free trial that you can check out. And then the subscription, pro subscription service, if you choose to use that later on. We'll go into some of those features. It has extra features that you can use, especially for those that are into water type activities, like you have a boat or you go fishing a lot, things like that. You definitely more than likely want to check out the pro subscription. Like I said, try it for that seven day free trial. But what I really like about the Nautical Eye app is that, you know, other apps, you kind of have to do a search and look for a location that you want to go to. But my family and myself, we're from the Harrisburg area and it's very popular to head down to Ocean City, Maryland, right? So we're gonna go check out Ocean City and I believe it is right around here. And we're gonna open up, we're gonna click on it and we can see basically fish, the fishing report. So as I said, fishermen and stuff, you wanna check this out. Uh, this gives a good idea. So you can see on the icon how it has a fish, so that'll tell you, but you can also like kind of long press and it's going to bring the dot down and you can move this dot anywhere you want so we're going to go we're just going to check out over here and then at the bottom you're going to see point weather forecast so we're going to click on weather button and it's going to give us kind of the current conditions as of 7 to 53 a.m today it's 49 degrees overcast and it's a typical april day seven mile an hour winds uh, it'll give you the dew point, what the visibility is, so if it's foggy and stuff out. Um, they do have a small craft advisory, so again, if you have a boat, this is a great app. You can click right on that. It's going to tell you all the stuff that's going on with the winds, and if you have a small craft, and you know just conditions you should be checking out and be aware of. So that's pretty cool. You can also go down and check out, it gives you a screenshot of the radar. As of this was five minutes ago so you got a screenshot of the radar you can see nothing's on the radar going on but then it shows you the 36 hour forecast and then you get a screenshot of that and then you could go in and see the wind speeds of what the winds are gonna be like for the day it looks like it's gonna pretty much stay the same and then you can go into weather it's gonna give you the forecast for the day you could keep scrolling over and over and we'll go in um this goes pretty much over the next 36 hours i guess that it'll tell you so obviously we got some chances of rain coming up 40 percent 80 percent it's wednesday evenings not looking too great so we really don't want to go to ocean city i don't think on wednesday evening but then you get the extended forecast where it'll jump in here and as you can see wednesday night 80 percent 60 a bunch of rain and it'll just roll over for the next seven days all the way to the following Monday. It'll even give you a brief breakdown of each today, tonight, Wednesday, the, basically the days and nights. And I kind of like that. Now you can also go back and you'll see at the top, you got fishing, boating, water sports, marina. So as I said earlier, the little fish on that icon, if I check that, you could see it. If I uncheck it and I don't want to see any fishing stuff, I can uncheck it and it's not there. So that's kind of cool. Now at the bottom, you can see observations, forecast charts. We'll go into observations and we'll click on that. And it's going to bring up a totally different map and it's going to show us the surface. And we got warnings and watches going on. Let's check this out. Current conditions. This just gives us current conditions. So 50 degrees. It already went up one degree since we checked it last time. Um, We'll click off that, we'll go into the radar, and as you can see, it looks pretty clear in the northeast today. 
We've got a little bit of stuff going on over here south of Ohio, but pretty cool. You can also hit the little play button and it'll play the radar so you can see which way the rain is coming. And then you can also look at the satellite image, which will give you more of like the uh, the cloud cover and um, the moisture that's in the air and everything like that. And as you can see, Louisiana is usual Louisiana down there, getting some rain, Arkansas. So that's pretty cool. It's looking like a decent day here in Pennsylvania. So I'm fine with that. Now, after checking that out, you can go into the forecast and we can see what the forecast is and it's looking like a pretty decent day where I'm at in the Harrisburg area but then you can see up top you'll see some yellow and green that just basically is telling you that there's some chance of rain in the forecast and a bunch of fog yellow is fog you can see at the top there and then you can click on each day Thursday is definitely gonna be a washout here and then Friday hopefully Saturday is looking good and it is looking good so far so that's kind of cool how you can kind of Scroll through at the bottom and see the morning and what the PM is going to look like. I like that. Now you can also click on this tool here at the bottom right with the little wrench. And you can see you could put on borders. You can put major U.S. roadways if you want or not. And that's pretty much, you know, if you, if you want to really hone down and everything. You could show your location, measure distance, and then you got different layers. Of weather the wind speed wind gusts temperature we'll check this out here's the temperature so you can see here it's in Fahrenheit and you can see at the top of the screen where it tells you like negative 30 all the way up to 130 so you can tell you that's kind of cool like I, I like that how you can go in and actually look ahead and we'll see and it's looking like it's gonna be like 50 60s in this area in central Pennsylvania for Thursday Saturday it's gonna be in the 50s it's looking like so that's kind of cool I like that and then we will go back go into the layers again and you can see wind gusts it's not gonna be too windy which is good we got dew points wave heights we'll go in and look at the wave heights so here we go it's looking like crazy it's, it's kind of cool how like you go out further and you can see the wave heights now obviously it cuts off at a certain point that it can go but so we'll go down, back down into Ocean City, Maryland, and check it out down here. So you can see the wave heights with nothing major going on down there. It's normal, normal wave heights. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And then we'll ch let's check out the wind speed. Like, all right, wow, look at that. So we could actually see the way the winds are going and everything. And then according to uh, the chart up here, it'll tell you our wind speeds. And I kind of like that. That's for Thursday. So if I wanted to go to the beach today, we know the winds are coming from the north. And Ocean City is right around this area. And it's looking like it's, it's kind of windy there. Not too bad, I guess. Normal. Your normal, typical beach weather. So then we could go in and we could look at charts. And it brings up this kind of cool looking map. And you can go around here and this will tell you the depth in feet of how deep the ocean is in these areas and that's pretty cool i don't know it's just me i like the weather i like looking at cool stuff like this but this in particular is very good for like fishermen or boating um definitely gives you a good in-depth look and i don't really honestly know what like these these things mean in here but you could go in and um check out the chart preferences we got, yeah, depth in feet, meters, fathoms, whatever you choose you want to do. You can change your depth contour. Um, it's set in meters. So you can go and adjust that. And then you can do your shallow safety and deep. And then you can obviously reset if you want. No, we don't want to save changes. So this is pretty cool. Now you can also go up here in the menu in the top left and you can check out preferences. And you can change everything that you would want, like your depth. Again, if you want to change that, you can go into your color scheme and do day, dusk, or night. No, we don't want to save that. We'll go back in the menu here. Let's see, notifications. 
Ooh, lightning notifications. Let's do that. And then we'll do, let's do up to 10 nautical miles. Why not? So this app was launched roughly a year ago or so. Um, and these guys worked very hard on this app. Uh, I think you should definitely check it out. Definitely. If you're into water activities, if you're a fisherman, you have a boat. I think it's a really cool app to use and it's good for the everyday person. As I said, they have a free version and they also have a pro subscription that you can go check out. I believe it's like 10 bucks a month or you can do the annual subscription where we save a little bit of money. Um, but that all depends on you and if you want to do. I just wanted to give you guys a little, a little overall review of the app. I think it's a pretty cool app. There's uh, some of the cons is uh, to me, we'll start with is like the symbols and stuff maybe if they put like a key in there with the different symbols of uh, uh, the, the different drawings on the maps that'd be kind of cool i'm not too familiar with that stuff uh, but there's tons of pros i think i think it's really cool how you can move around with the dot like i said you don't have to really search for anything you just kind of look for it uh it would be kind of cool maybe if they did add a way to search maybe i missed that um, just to give you kind of the two options go check out the nautical eye app as I said I left all the links in the description Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a cool weather app And if you plan to check it out make sure you hit that subscribe button as well And thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one